for RVR. Um, I've got a, my first video for YouTube uh, since I've gotten my uh, my uh, technician class license is on the Bofang UV5R Pro. Um, I've seen many videos that explain and demonstrate and also websites that give details on how to program the radio manually without the use of a uh, data cable and I'm not I don't want to take away from any of that but I have found a trick with programming this radio that might uh, be useful um, when I programmed all of my repeaters into this radio I mistakenly not really mistakenly but at the time I did not know the power usage that I would need as far as low power or high power to hit these repeaters. So I programmed everyone into high power and now I realize I have two local repeaters that I can use the rubber duck on in my house and I don't need high power. It, I can hit them low power uh, full quieting on low power so and it, instead of having to push the the uh, pound key every time I switch to that channel or that frequency sometimes I would forget I'm running high power for no reason and draining my battery twice as fast so um, I decided I needed to reprogram these uh, memory channels into having low power and at first I thought I was going to have to just go through all of them start from scratch pretty much wipe out the radio and uh, do it all over again and then I tried a tried something new uh, the other night and realized that it worked so that you can keep all of your memory channels and that you're only making one change so uh, next uh, get everything set up here and uh, I will show you uh, how to do it and it's actually rather simple all right, this is take two. Uh, I just went through all the steps and did one thing different than I did the first time, and it didn't work, so it completely backfired. Now that I know what I did wrong, uh, and with this, I have to keep the light off on the uh, radio because it will not focus. My camera will not focus on it with the light turned on. So. For those of you that have had this radio for a while, you would know if you're, in this case, like me, low power. I think you can see the little L right there. In low power, you would hit the pound button, and it would put it back into high power. Now, this is the case. It, all of my memories have been programmed with low power. And I just figured this trick out a couple of days ago and I changed every one of them except for my uh, my simplex frequencies changed all of them to low power within about five ten minutes or so but it can be can be a little tricky and here's what you do make sure you do on just like uh, programming from uh, frequency mode in, when you're in frequency mode you have to be on the top side on the top setting so even in memory mode you have to be on the top one now you hit your pound key to get that frequency put back on to high or low whichever way you're going with it and then you go to menu and you can punch in 27 which is for the memory select it and in my case it's you have to make sure that you have the correct channel selected or it will you will mess it up but it has been confirmed. When I hit exit, I can now go to, like, say the next frequency up is on low power. Go back down to my first one. It's on high power. And then you can hit your pound key, get it back to low power. Menu to make sure the right frequency or the right channel. And save it. And then go back to it and it's back on low again. I can hit my button to put it on high. It goes back to low. So that is very easily how to change uh, if you have your uh, memory channels saved on low or high power 
uh, and you want it changed uh, for memory, you know, want it changed in your uh, memory presets later. It's real quick, it's a quick and easy fix, and like I said, the only reason that I didn't go through the full process is because there are, are a good few videos out that do the programming steps for you and I didn't want to take any with anything away from that because I actually appreciated those videos from those individuals so I'm not going to take anything away from that but uh, none of them I, I'd never seen anything about this tip so um, I figured I'd uh, extend my uh, my knowledge a little bit here and try to help someone out but uh, yeah I mean it's a for this radio I'll give my own little review it's been banged up a little bit. There's a little bit of a scratch right there, and some of the coloring's been rubbed off on the buttons. And this thing's been dropped a few times. It has, uh, it has hit the floor. And yeah, right at the moment I have it hooked up to uh, my external antenna outside. Um, put the rubber, put the rubber duck on it. And I mean, so far I've had no problems with this radio. I have to find where I put the antenna. And about the only reason that I want or would even consider getting the uh, the data cord for it is the way your radio is set up when you turn it on. I've seen, <clears throat> had watched a video where a fellow had his setup when he turned it on it had his call sign on the top and then his uh, license class on the bottom because see where right now it says welcome 5R Pro I might change that that startup screen and there's a few uh, settings that I would uh, might consider uh, when you put the radio into scanning mode if it stops like say in my case I have one frequency which is actually, I'll stop it, it is the last one, 127, it's the NOAA weather radio. I mean, when I'm scanning, I'm scanning for repeaters, I'm not worried about listening to that. And so with the programming cable and chirp, you can uh, actually set certain channels or memory channels to, you know, be locked out pretty much. It'll the scanning mode will skip those. That I do want to change, and I've, you know, changed the, the startup screen on it, but other than that, this has been a uh, pretty good radio, and I hope this tip is helpful. Uh, just uh, enjoy the radio, because like I said, this is, I'm, this is my starter radio. I've only had my, my license for a few weeks now, and for a starter radio, this thing does great, and I've gotten good reports on the uh, the signal and and sound quality and uh, I mean it, it's it's great for the price and tonight for the first time just before recording this I actually spoke to a friend of mine that has the, the same radio uh, on simplex tonight was the first time I ever used simplex uh, but in our case we both had to use our uh, outdoor antennas because the the rubber ducks just won't make that trip even on high power and we were on the external J poles under low power and it still went through so uh, but yeah good radio and uh, like I said they're cheap I've heard some people say you know dog these radios but they are good and they're good for a starter radio and remember it's a dual bander 2 meter and uh, 70 centimeter so I mean it like I said, very good radio. So I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you end up getting your hands on one of these radios, you're you won't be disappointed. And uh, so just uh, enjoy the radio, enjoy the hobby. I know I am so far. Have a good one.